Hey, it's Shane from Wayne's Barbershop in Mystic, Connecticut. I am here with Easy Blade, and I'm gonna show you one of the ways I do a skin fade, because I do skin fades differently sometimes. But I'm gonna use metal attachments. Uh, I'm gonna use metal attachments uh, with this skin fade. Probably no plastic attachments. Maybe a magic clip, trimmer, buzzers, everything. Stay tuned. Just keep on watching! Watch me! Alright, I'm gonna start with my trimmer line. I have a babeless. And I'm gonna make it. It's gonna be like a mid skin fade. You see, he didn't have a haircut not too long ago, so. Right around there. And I'm gonna leave the bottom line to shave with Easy Blade afterwards. Might drop it down a little bit too. We'll see. We'll see how we're feeling. This is my trimmer line. First initial demarcation line. Now I am going to use my number one blade, about maybe half an inch. And this is my classic 76 clipper. I use metal attachment um, because my older brother pretty much made me use metal attachments when I first started. Uh, that's just how he learned from the old Navy barbers and uh, that's the best way he could teach. So I didn't really get into plastic attachments at all. I actually really didn't like plastic attachments back in the day, but now I use some, usually just for waves and all that. But, so you're just gonna repeat this on the other side. Now we have the skin line, the one line, and I go with a two. I'll probably keep the two about the same, and then I'll take it up a little bit further up back here above the occipital bone. So when I'm doing this, this is a number two. Classic 76. When I'm doing this, I try not to just stop. I almost flip out like that. You see? So it's easier to blend later. I'll probably just do some scissor over foam to get that top line out. Keep it moving. Moving and grooving. I am flat against the head because I'm doing a fade. I talk in one of my videos with the fast feed taper. I use the teeth a lot. Now you can, when you use the teeth and you bring this clipper out, like that, it cuts the hair longer. When it's flat against the head like this, it's shorter. So with that bottom line, I could almost probably flick that out. Maybe I'll do that in the video. But I like to get rid of that weight line. You can clipper over comb that weight line. You can um, scissor over comb that. I would not take that weight line out with thinning shears. Now, a lot of people would go with their one and a half after this to start buffing out this line. That's how I, I always do this, all this stuff underneath first right here, and then I take that out. But you go with a one and a half, then a one A, and then a one. But I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna skip a guard. I'm gonna go right to the one A, then clean up with the one. So I have my one A, I'm skipping a guard to get this line cleaned up. So, you're pretty much doing a rocking motion. 
And you're not going past that number two line. And you gotta know your tools. You gotta handle them right. Always be comfortable with your clippers. I'm holding it nice and light. I'm not grabbing onto it. You hold it nice and light. Oh, 1A. Not going past that line. That's why I leave that, just for a reference. You can put two hands on there. Still have the 1A. Flicking away. Nice and easy. Let your clipper do the work. If it isn't taking the line out, which it probably won't, because we're going to go back with the one and uh, use the side of the blade. Now that we did the 1A, you still see our, that line. We weren't buffing that out. We're buffing the one line out. And you can see it's a little blotchy, um, you know, underneath. The best angle to look at it, if you have them go like that, and then you can look up into the fade. I try not to put my guys' heads like that too much. I do move their head around, but um, not all the time. I'll get down low and look up into the fade. Just using the corner of the blade. You, know, you don't have to use the whole clipper the whole time. Just like that. Nice and easy. Just going around, taking your time. Speed comes later. I can't stress that enough. Um, all my appointments are 30 minutes, which is perfect. Um, I used to take forever on haircuts, which is fine. I was learning my craft, it's, and you're always learning your craft. This might be a new way to fade, even if you've been fading forever, you know? So, which is fun. It's fun learning new things, but um, take your time, you know? Repetition. You just gotta keep it up, keep cutting, and you'll get there. All right, so now we got that one line pretty much buffed out. It's not perfect, that's the two line right there. And uh, I'm going to use my magic clip to start buffing this out. I'm gonna start on a half instead of open, closed, and half. Halfway open. And I'm just using Usually one corner or the other. Um, I feel more in control when I'm doing my fades. Listening too while you're doing fades is a big part of it because you gotta hear the hair being cut. Sometimes I can be, you know, you're talking to your client, whatever. I'll get real close to my client just to hear if it's cutting or not. And it is still a little bit. I'm going to close it all the way. You're always going to be switching back and forth with everything. You know? So you're always going to play with it. I'm going to start to see our fade come to light a little bit more and more. Very nice. We're going to try to buff most of this out with just comb and shear. And... When you're doing this, you're always lifting, so it's layering it at the same time. So you see this angle right here, we're looking up into the fade for, I don't like doing this to clients, just a little bit like that, maybe like that, you see up into it, and you see it's a little dark here, maybe you wouldn't see it from looking straight on, you can still see it. To get those uneven spots, you can go in and notch 
with the shear. But when you're doing that, you don't want to cut like that. You don't want to cut like that. You don't want to cut like that. You see the hair growth is going that way. So you go against the grain and you can lay this part of the blade right on the head. You can, you don't have to, you can. You're not gonna cut them as long as you're paying attention. Keep that blade cutting. Keep it cutting nice and easy, just like that. And we comb it out a little bit after we did some scissor work. After we did some scissor work and you're starting to see the fade. It's starting to look pretty. So now I'm just gonna go in there, just the ends, lift that hair, touch the ends, always comb it out. Just the ends. Now this is the side of his head and we're looking for these flyaways here. So you brush this up and you look down you see I missed a few. So I use this tapering trimmer. It's great for lineups but it's for me it's great for tapering. I mean um, it's great for feathering just like this. While you're here, you get the peach fuzz off their ears with the trimmer. Just the little things. Always check eyebrows, but this um, is a great way to get those flyaway hairs. This is the Easy Blade Shaving Gel. I already applied some, and you literally could shave this as is. It's perfect. Um, you can see what you're doing, but because I have the Easy Blade Shaving Soap, I'm gonna incorporate that as well. And all you have to do is get your brush uh, wet with warm water, just like that. And make sure your brush is clean. And today I'll be using Easy Blade Double Edge Razors with an Easy Blade Straight Razor and that goes right in there. Stretch the skin. Now, with that razor line, I'm gonna show you how I buff that out. You can either hit it with a trimmer or go gently over it with the razor. You're kind of fading with the razor. Just 
stretch the skin. Nice and gentle. All right, this is the final cut, and that is how I do a skin fade. Until next time.